Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. Today I'm talking about the slash proc directory in your Linux and Unix systems. Now, if you're not familiar with the proc uh, folder is or the proc file system is, uh, the proc file system allows us to pull uh, hardware information and system information uh, that are located in the special files on the uh, proc subdirectory. So if you do an ls of the proc directory, you will see um, numbered folders. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and you will see information uh, files that are labeled uh, some self-explanatory things. So for example, uh, CPU info. So we can go to uh, cd slash proc and cat CPU info. And CPU info will tell us physically uh, details about the processor. Okay, who made it? So this is a AMD, this is an A10 5800K, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so other information you can find, for instance, is cat mem info. So you can see how much memory is available on the system what is the physical amount and what is available and how much is in the buffer. Interestingly enough, if you do free tack h, this command actually will dip into the slash proc directory to get the details that it's displaying here. And then the app that's been written throws its special algorithm and stuff like that uh, to make it useful to you, but the actual information would be in the slash proc directory. So that's an example of some hardware information you can get. Let's see what happens when we uh, look at these folders here. So what these folders are, uh, each process ID has a corresponding folder in the proc directory. And what we can do is CD into say, 5691, so process ID 5691. Let's look at some information that we can get from here. So if we do cat mem, uh, in this case, the direct, uh, the cat mem, uh, sorry, the mem file is empty. So let's find one that might have some. Let's check one. So uh, let's check a different one then. How about IO? So IO will give you uh, uh, some details about how much uh, IO this particular process is using. So right now this process is mostly dormant, right? Uh, as you can see, everything is at zero. Let's check. Let's pick 188. Hmm, empty. Let's TSEF and find something that's running at this time. Actually, we'll top 6277, which is my screen. Uh, capture software. Okay, so you can see how much IO uh, this process is using. So we should see maybe okay, that there's still no mem info, which I'm surprised. So let's see uh, what other info we can get. We can check the CMD line, which should tell us command line parameters that are passed. Okay, so this is the command line uh, parameter that's passed uh, when this process is run. So it calls on user bin Python 3, uh, and then uh, it uses bin Kazan. So we can check uh, that 
and see what gets called once a process is initiated. And you can see other details uh, as needed. And if you notice, when you do a top, a lot of the info, so the PID um, and all that stuff, the, the top command is also another command that dips into the slash proc directory to get you all the details that it's displaying. Let's go back to the proc directory and I wanna draw your attention to something here. Look at the proc directory and look at the size of all the files. If you notice, the size of the files are all zero. Now, why is that? The reason why they're all zero is that the proc directory, the files within the proc directory are virtual files. They only exist in memory. That's because as you can imagine, if PID 15 dies uh, and gets killed, then the PID uh, 15 would uh, no longer need a proc directory. Okay, so that is why this is a dynamic file system. Uh, now, uh, these folders do not get written to disk. Okay, so let's see an example here of something I can safely kill. Let's see, 5191. Okay, so 5191, okay, I think I can live without that for a brief second. Okay, now let's look at So that started right up. I, I'm not surprised actually, I miss overlooked that that's, um, that is a K worker. So hmm, let's see here. Find something that I can kill. So G edit six eight zero six. So if I go okay, so six eight zero six has a folder now. I should be able to definitely okay. So six eight zero six is dead, and just to be sure. So there is no 6806. Okay. Now, if you noticed, the folder disappeared almost instantly. So that tells you that these folders only exist while the process is running. If there were none of these processes, then uh, most of these folders would be dead. You will always see one will be in it. Okay, so if you do PSEF and go to PID1, PID1 will be in it. Why? Because that is the first process that gets uh, started during the boot process getting into Ubuntu. After grub, grub will send, uh, will call upon init to launch and then init will go and figure out what run level and all the other stuff uh, to make the front end for instance, if you're going to run level five, which is, you know, full functional mode, you will see this, but that's a different discussion. So I hope this helped you uh, understand the proc directory and what's in there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also visit my website, seanmancini.com, and feel free to email me with any questions, sean at seanmancini.com.
talk to you guys later. Bye.